sugar bowl, a little creamer. I love the little mug. That's cute. I still have the green glasses. Do I get them this time? <laughs> I'm losing my mind. This is so pretty. This is like the summer collection of the year. Oh my god. Oh, this one. It's so pretty. That's kind of amazing. <laughs> Isn't it? And the sweater? I almost dropped my phone. Oh my god, how did they do this? This quickly. We've been here, what, six minutes? And I've destroyed their racks. <sighs> I don't know how I do it, you guys. What is that? This is, oh my god, it's another vintage studded. Oh, I don't think I need a long sleeve, but... Oh my god. That's kind of... If I was into a denim moment. Don't know that I'm into a denim moment. That is fun. Oh my god. Love it. It comes with the tank. That's cute. Like tied. The waist. Oh. Hey, what is up you guys? So today I have yet another amazing thrift haul. This might be my best thrift haul yet. So I highly recommend you stay tuned till the end. And I do want to say if you enjoy my videos, please give me a subscribe or a like or a comment. It really means the world to me. Now I don't want to bore you with chit chat. So let's jump right on in. So as you can see, I have got a giant bag from St. Vincent de Paul. And I have some Binds. Now, I don't want this video to be two hours long, so I do just want to run through these as quickly as I can. Okay, now these shorts are everything, you guys. These are by the brand Revolt. I don't know if this is like a big brand or anything, but they are denim shorts that are like patterned with this like cool patterned denim and then frayed on the edges in these little squares. I thought these were so incredible the back is beautiful too it's got that wonderful like sort of more v-shaped stitching on the back which I think is very flattering on the body definitely gives your butt a little lift um, but if you can see the detail like that's all denim but this is like a pattern denim and then it's all distressed on every single edge and then the bottoms are distressed as well I again I have not tried on anything that's not like a shirt um, that's like easy to throw on over this t-shirt because I actually just got back from the store as you're watching this video so I have not tried any of this on yet you will see it in the try on if it fits um, if I do a try on for this video this is a massive video though so who knows this next top is just by the brand Anna the tag just says Anna I'm not sure and this is just Miami Vice Realness I just I saw this I could not leave without it. It's this yellow, like this butter yellow with these gorgeous florals and these jewel tones. And again, I thought for fall, this would be amazing. For winter, this is amazing. For summer, this is incredible. And I'm definitely looking to beef up my summer wardrobe, but don't you worry, guys. There are plenty of fall items as well in this haul, so keep an eye out. Um, but I just, I thought this would be so cute, tied up with like a white t-shirt. And even, I have these ridiculous gold pants that I thrifted online for you guys. I'm pretty sure these were in one of my very first videos, so I will link that or card it. You will see if you wanna see the rest of the haul with these pants. Um, but I loved this shirt, so I picked it up. It would look great with those shorts too, wouldn't it? Oh my God. As you guys saw in like a little bit of the thrifted portion, there were a ton of these like beautiful floral printed blouses from the thrift store. This one's by the brand Impressions. I didn't pick up a lot of them, but I did pick up a few. Um, and this was one of them. It's this deep, beautiful forest green color with these blue and yellow, like sort of goldish leaning flowers on it. I just thought this was so pretty. And I also really liked how it buttoned. It sort of like creates this beautiful ruching across the top when it's buttoned up on you. It's just gorgeous, it's stunning tucked in with high-waisted jeans and some cute white little booties would be stunning with this it went great with these gold pants like the other like every top I had basically in this haul I was able to sort of throw these on and try them on in the store and it 
everything was just stunning so I did pick that one up as well this was a gorgeous zebra print blouse I couldn't leave this behind again I love blouses because you can tie them up at the waist or French tuck them into some pants and they just look stunning they look like a million bucks and you spent a dollar on it so <laughs> I did pick this blouse up as well I am a sucker for a black and white dramatic print I think that those are so modern looking and so chic but this is definitely a vintage piece and I was so excited with the amount of like just pure vintage I don't think I have a single well, I have a couple modern pieces in this haul but most of this is like entirely all vintage pieces and that just excites me so much this blouse I saw on my way out and I just had to grab it really quick. Um, this is by Jonathan Martin and this is a medium so it's a little snug because as we know vintage fashion is usually it's either way bigger than the tag says or it's way smaller so it's a little bit snug but I love the way this hangs. It's a cropped pink button up blouse with this like cute little Peter Pan lace collar and then the back has that beautiful stitching where it like sort of comes apart at the back and it's just the long sleeve great for fall I thought this would be adorable with a cream colored cardigan and some pants or even a, a cute little um I have like a pink and beige plaid skirt another shirt I picked up and I don't know if I am going to shorten this into a crop top yet but this is by special fx it's a vintage top and it's got these intense shoulder pads but it's like this like studded moment and like they're gold and it's got the original Hudson's tags it's from Hudson's it was originally $36 from Hudson's so this was never worn and I think I'm gonna crop it because it is quite a long shirt or maybe I won't and I'll wear it like a t-shirt dress if it's long enough I don't know what I'm gonna do with it but it's it was so beautiful with this like just gold studding that I was like with a pattern skirt you guys like a zebra print pattern skirt tell me that doesn't slay tell me you can't so this I got because it's sort of dramatic and you know I love a dramatic top and this is by the brand expose an incredible name for a brand and just look at it now normally I hate tops that look like they're two pieces and this is one of those it looks like it has a vest underneath and then it's like a cardigan style shirt but when it's vintage I feel like I can sort of let that go a little bit and also when it's as fabulous as this is like I can let that go because it's got this beautiful design to it it's like got this baroque sort of trim and then the blazer or the vest itself is like this silky shiny material and it's just it's this gorgeous long sleeve piece and I thought for fall and winter this is going to be stunning or even like in the spring I think this is gonna be such a winner this is gonna be so fun to style and that's what I feel about all of these pieces is like these are all very much statement pieces for the most part I did get a couple basics but these are all like very much like in your face statement pieces and that is really what I'm all about thrifting those are my favorite things to thrift so that's what I thrifted it's by Silver Threads. I that's an understatement because when I show you this shirt, you guys, this is insane. This is insane, and you can't. I don't even think it's coming across on camera. It's a printed, patterned, like holo, almost holographic. Like the colors change when you look at this. Like it's sort of like a pinky purple, like. It's like a duochrome shirt pinky purple silver with like the silver buttons all over it it's like this button-up blouse tell me tied up or tucked in with like a black t-shirt underneath and like some jeans but this isn't the moment if you watch blazing glazed this is like the ultimate shimmy shake top this is incredible and the print is beautiful like it's like this fun paisley but like it's not paisley because I don't love paisley it's like paisley meets floral meets animal print kind of I don't know it's like one of the weirdest shirts I feel like I've ever thrifted but one of the coolest as well so I love this it also feels really light and airy so I think it might be good for spring as well maybe not summer maybe it's a little heavy for summer but definitely spring and fall and winter that top is going to rue make everyone else rue the day <laughs> trying to get back to some 
some form of summery vibe. This is by the brand Ambiance, it's a size medium, and this is definitely a modern tank, um, but it's just like a cute little, I don't even know what this cut is called, but it's like got the squarish neck, the sort of more, more of a racer back, but not quite a racer back tank top. I liked it, it's ribbed, it's nice, it's going to help me survive this dreaded heat. Um, and then I picked up another almost like wife beatery looking top just like a tank top slim fit um, this one's originally by old navy i liked this one because it was ribbed um and i do plan on cropping this um, but it's a size medium which is a little small for a medium but it is really stretchy so hopefully this one works out but i do plan on cropping this as well going right back into vintage you thought we were done this is by the brand sneak two and this is just a stunning little sequin vest that I found. If you're on this channel a lot, you know that I love me a good vest. And look at the details on this one. It's in perfect condition. And I do really like the brand Sneak Tzu. I have a couple of vests from her um, and they are stunning and they are very comfortable. These are great in the summer too, just like with a cute bralette underneath. They're obviously really open armed. Like the sleeve is huge. This is truly like you, you are open so like have a cute bralette under this and just like a pair of shorts and that's a shirt like this is the shirt this is the tank so I picked that one up because it was only a couple dollars and why not I'm actually going to jump stores real quick just because the rest of these items are super wintry so I am going to jump into another store that I went to I went to a value world and picked up just a couple of items so I do want to show you those before I get into the most amazing pieces that you will ever see on this channel. I don't know. <laughs> Just another great summer basic. This one is by the brand Finity and it is sort of a vest style sleeveless top. And I really like these for summer. They are really polished and put together. So they make any outfit sort of a little more elevated. But this is just so cute with like a printed, like a zebra print skirt. This would be amazing with these or like printed denim. Oh, that would be so kick ass with these. I have a pair of green and black um, zebra printed denim pants and they're like uh, straight leg cut. I think that would look so sick with this. Um, I also got, now this one looks kind of weird and I don't know if I'm going to like this on because I haven't tried it on yet. Um, let me see if there's a brand in it. MKM Designs. It's made of rayon and cotton. So it's good materials. Um, but it's a turtleneck, like ribbed, like nude color. And then it's got like this edge to it. And then like the back is also just like this really beautiful ribbed sweater material. But again, it's sleeveless. And I just, I thought I would regret leaving without this because it was like a dollar and it just like captivated me. I thought this would be so cute even in the summertime. I think this would be a great summer piece just because it is a turtleneck, but it's sleeveless and it's sort of cropped. So I did pick this one up um, because even if I don't like it, it was only a dollar so I can redonate it or sell it or whatever. And I think this is just like a fun like thing to try. Um, this is one thing that's not vintage. I don't believe, I don't think so. This tag is way too modern to be vintage. It's by the brand Truly Madly Deeply Los Angeles. Um, and it's just another modern sort of tank top workout top slash just like a cute version of a tank top it's a size medium i really like this um again it's cropped it's really cute basic um trying to wear more tank tops right now this piece oh my gosh i wish i love this piece so much it's linen um and rayon and I can't even pronounce the brand name, but this was in the men's section. This didn't originally have a price tag on it, so she couldn't sell it to me, but then she was like, how's 540 sound? And I was like, sounds amazing. And she let me have it, and she was like, this didn't happen. Like, no one, don't tell anyone that I did this. And I was like, oh my gosh, so I'm not gonna tell you guys what store it was, or where we were, or whatever. <laughs> not that I ever really do, but I don't wanna get her in any trouble, but if she ever finds this video, which I hope she does, she's such a sweet woman, you absolutely made my day and I'm so glad that you let me buy this because it is linen, which I, as I said, is a staple of mine. Whenever I see linen in the thrift store, I always pick it up and it is just this really nice sheer grid pattern, black and sort of white beige. It's, it's more of a white um, grid pattern and I just thought this was so, so cute to layer with like band tees and black distressed shorts. That would be so cute with this. 
Um, but I can definitely wear this in a million different ways in a million different seasons. So shout out to the cashier who really helped me out by letting me purchase this because I was totally fine with just letting it go. But she was like, I got you. And I was like, you got me. You really got me. <laughs> this is my Nicole Studio New York. This is definitely vintage. I feel like it's going to be a bit loose, but I feel like I kind of, I, I like that. I think with combat boots, this would be really cute. This is a sort of velvet vintage animal print, long sleeve midi dress. So it definitely doesn't go all the way to the ankle. Um, but I just think this would be so cute either with a belt or just let it be loose, pair it with a really sick leather jacket and some like combat boots or even some black heels. And this is so gorgeous. Like this is just one of those things, again, those like timeless vintage pieces. And I, I love a good vintage animal print. I think modern day animal print can be a lot or even like mid 2000s animal print. I kind of like side eye and I'm kind of like, I don't really like that. Sure, it looks great on other people, but it does not look good on me. Um, I did pick up this top. This is from Express. This is a more modern one. Again, $5, which for Express, I feel like is a great price because I know this shirt was probably originally like 50 bucks. So I'm not mad at that, but it's just another tank top, um, but it's like a gold lame sort of one. I've purchased these in like other colors, but I really like gold and I like that this is like a dark gold. It's like very sparkly. I'll get you in there. And it's like a thicker, nicer tank top. I do really like that. This, oh my God, you guys. The rest of these pieces are heart stoppingly beautiful. So I need you guys to pay attention. This is the best part of the haul. I need you guys focused, okay? This is by the brand AJ Bari. And when I tell you this, this felt very cheetah girls. I'm gonna put a picture of what I immediately thought of when I found this. Um, we could be ourselves and still be wild. But look at this cropped hot pink blazer with these black details. It's got beads, it's got sequins, it's got lace inlays, it's got the cropped fit, it's got these trims. Oh, it's got the trim on the back. It's got the trim on the back. And if you know me, you know I like it when it has the design on the back as well. So I saw this and this was a no brainer. I mean, that's just, this is just truly, oh, this is why I thrift. Because if you saw this anywhere else, you'd be like, what the heck? But at the thrift store, that's a piece of gold. Next. This one's a bit big, a bit oversized. It's by John Mayer of Norwich, which I have to look into this brand because this looks so stunning. It's a sequin lapel, this, and believe me, they are in perfect condition. A sequin lapel oversized blazer. I mean, look at that. Look at how thick and dense and shiny those are. And they're removable. That's so beautiful. Tell me that's not so beautiful. You look like a rock star or you could look like an award show host. I don't know. You could, I just, oh, that, the cashier was even blown away. She was like, how did you, how did you do this? How did you walk away with all this? And I was, it's my talent. This jacket is probably intended for like an older audience, but I'm that audience now. And it's like something you could probably wear inside out as well because it is tapestry. It's a tapestry jacket. And I tried this on with my outfit and let me tell you, it rocked my socks off. I was, I was actually there with my mom, which is why I didn't film a ton. But I mean, this is just like so oversized and so pretty. And then like I zipped up one of the sleeves and it was just so, it's amazing. This is amazing. The colors are amazing. These jewel tones, these really deep, beautiful fall colors, these beautiful botanical like prints. I loved, I loved this. This is another one of those things that like, I don't know. I just don't see this in stores, especially for like $3. I don't see this in stores ever. Like I'm sure Parisian Works is a modern brand, but like this is so timeless in my opinion. Like I love the botanicals. I think the dark, Botanical prints are my favorite so far, right now, at least. 
Oh, I actually had another find that I sort of forgot to mention. This is buried in the bottom of a bag. This is by SNL Sports, made in America. Um, and it's just this cute little sage green, mint green, whatever you want to call it, um, knitted sweater vest sort of top. I got this with a white peekaboo um, button up underneath because it's so adorable in the fall with some ta either tailored pants or like some more loungy pants would be so fashionable. I don't know. I just thought this was really cute um, or even on its own like tucked into a pair of like brown trousers. Tell me how stunning that would be. Um, I really liked the knit as well. This again was just one of those items I was like if I don't get that I'm probably gonna regret that and I'm probably gonna think about it because it is just like a cute little cozy item. And again it's sleeveless which means I could potentially wear it during the summer as well so always a win. These next two, I need you to prepare yourself. I need you to, to sit down. If you're not sitting down, sit down. If you're doing laundry right now, listening to me talk, like I need you to just have a moment and look at your screen because I'm about to show you the most amazing thing. And this doesn't have a brand. It has a tag. It has one tag, but it's like folded in and sewn onto itself. So I don't know if this coat was tailored at some point. I've thrifted vintage furs before, but this one a little special because it's cropped. It's a cropped fur coat. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, this is going, this is gonna, I'm gonna wear this all winter. I'm going to wear this all winter long. Are you kidding me? I mean, this is just such a find for me. Such a find. Oh my god. And this I didn't get it on film, but it was so funny. This has, you know how my other jacket that I thrifted from there had an earwig on it that I had to shake off and then kill? This had a dead wasp on it <laughs> when I found it. So I shook that off and then I got this coat. And I was like, all the coats that I find here have some kind of bug, like not like a gross bug. Like I, I consider like gross bugs things that you take home with you. You know what I mean? Like bed bugs or roaches or any of those things just like a random bug there's always one on these coats but that means they're the good coat <laughs> this is quite possibly and I'm not saying that loosely because I know the other coat that I thrifted was the best coat I've ever thrifted and this fur coat was the best coat I've ever thrifted this might be legitimately the best coat I've ever thrifted give me a minute this is a Peel Studio, Wilson's The Leather Experts, size medium, vintage. I know Wilson's leather still exists. I know. But this, th they are a old brand. This is the best coat I have ever thrifted. It's a, it's a short leather trench, camel colored, Look at that back. It's got the flaps. It's got the belt. It's got the sleeves. They are distressed to perfection. Perfection. There's not a single discoloration, a single scuff, a single mar on this coat. You undo the belt, right? You undo the buttons. Look at that plaid inside. Look at it. Look at it. It's got an inside pocket. It's got a little inside pocket. I need, I need us all to take a breath and a breather because this, this is the best thing I've ever thrifted. And I even think there are little buttons. There's just one little button, but it's on the neck. I feel like this had a fur collar at some point. Maybe that's what it's missing. But this bad boy was only $15. And I mean, it's genuine leather. You can feel it. You can smell it, but you can feel it too. And oh my God, is the quality there. Oh my God. And it's so heavy and so warm. It's got the best flannel inside. And like, look at how cute the inside is. I know no one's gonna see the inside, but look at the inside. I need you to look at the flannel. The 70s flannel. And the pockets are deep they're nice and deep that is the final item that I have for you I know I need to stop buying jackets I know oh no wait I have 
I have one homeware item. Just one. Just one. It was 99 cents. And you guessed it, guys. It's another little mug. It's a little speckled cream and brown colored ceramic mug. That concludes the haul. This was a long one. Thank you guys so much for watching the entire thing if you did. And I will see you guys in my next video next week. Thanks so much for watching. Stay well until next time. Bye.